Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday, the 28th day of June 2013. We're going to be live here for the next three hours. And I'm very excited that Gerald Salente is here in Austin, Texas, and is going to be in studio with us. Need to button my top button for TV viewers. Looks like I'm trying to be a David Hasselhoff uh, wannabe. But only Paul Watson, who's actually the illegitimate son of uh, David Hasselhoff, uh, can actually pull it off. In fact, he is secretly, and I'm planning to roll this out very soon, secretly, ladies and gentlemen, he is the Wasselhoff. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's secretly his name. Now, now it's not... Now it's not secret anymore. If you're a radio listener, you're like, what are you talking about? I came in here with my top button unbuttoned, and it looked like I was in a 70s, uh, 70s porno movie or something with the chest hair, ladies and gentlemen. All I need is a big gold chain with a crucifix on it or something. And uh, we've got the whole the whole nine yards prepared. And then I could be, well, not quite. I'd be wearing a, a uh, jungle-type shirt or a tropical shirt. Is that the right word for one of those, a tropical shirt? I've decided today, coming in here, I was exercising this morning, getting more and more angry about the new world order, getting more and more upset about all the things that are happening in the world. But I really should be positive because so many people uh, are actually starting to wake up. And I think that's just incredibly good news. And so I shouldn't be so negative. And plus, life is not boring. Uh, this is a huge action adventure. We're all starring in it. Uh, we're only alive once on this beautiful planet hurtling through space. And I'm going to try to bring more light to the show. Because there is a lot of good in the world, a lot of good in the universe. In fact, there's a lot more good than bad. I tend to focus on the bad because I want the good to become aware of it so that we can burn the tyranny politically, spiritually, intellectually to the ground. And its pyre be a lighthouse on the hill uh, for future generations to try to avoid the pitfalls that we have fallen into and that other generations before us fell into. I mean, I just love humanity. I, I'm a fan of our potential, but it's kind of an oxymoron dichotomy in that I'm also disgusted by the lows of humanity and my own lows and just the wanton sloth and decadence and loving failure and loving gibbering and lying and delusionalism and no good deed goes unpunished. I tell you, that African saying is the most true saying in the world. That no good deed goes unpunished, but it doesn't go unrewarded as well. Now, overall, you'll be blessed, your progeny will be blessed, but you will be attacked. And Christ said that too, he said, you know, those that uh, love me will be persecuted and all those that hate me love death. And people that want to be good will be persecuted by the corrupt because they don't like us, ladies and gentlemen. And we need to realize that. And we need to be a little more uppity about things. Those of us that know we're good, know that we care, know that liberty and individualism is the way to go. We've got to take our lives back, take our country back, take our government back. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the news we're going to cover when we get back is all off the chart. Did you know this hasn't broken in the U.S. yet, but it's a big deal? Canadians are calling it Nazi Germany. That's how it's described. I'm going to get to that after the break. They have had Katrina-style gun confiscation there. And we're going to be going over that. Immigration reform bill clears Senate but faces roadblock in the House. Christian Science Monitor reports... I haven't talked a lot about this, but I'm gonna, actually the Nightly News covered it on uh, Tuesday. I'm going to talk about it, though, and show the video to TV viewers. Most of you have seen it if you're a radio listener, uh, where this woman is beaten for minute after minute with her children there in a catatonic state of learned helplessness. Uh, why didn't she have a gun? Well, don't worry. They're moving to even ban knives in places like New Jersey for self-defense because the only crime is defense. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound 
When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Monday through Friday, ladies and gentlemen, we're here live, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. And guess what? We're live right now. It is Friday, 28th day of June 2013. Gerald Salente is going to be in studio with us in the third hour. And uh, look, there is incredible news across the board. And I say this every day and then never get around to doing it. But I'm getting a little better each day. So within a trillion years, I'll actually be able to go through phone calls like I did when I was first on air. I was first on air. I love getting phone calls. And I could take sometimes 100 calls in a show. Now I might take 100 calls in a week if I'm lucky. Uh, but any question you have today, it's open phones for questions only. If you, because I never do this, if you have a question, because they pour in via letters, they pour in at planetinfowars.com and we... You know, have the Ask Alex segment uh, on there at PlanetInfoWars.com, the uh, social network for patriots, to get organized, to go camping, dating. It's all there at PlanetInfoWars.com. And, of course, the other sites are InfoWars.com and the nightly news on PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, but I want to open the phones up for your wild card questions on this Friday edition ahead of pharmacist Ben Fuchs and Gerald Salente joining us. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. And we will get you up and on the air here today. Any question, I'll try to answer it. Political, religious, personal, uh, anything goes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, any questions go. D that doesn't mean I'll be able to answer uh, all of them, but I'll I'll sure uh, try. 800-259-9231. Uh, wow, there is just so much crazy news going on uh, that it's hard to know where to know where to start. Um, UK may approve creating babies with DNA from three people, and then next will be the government telling you they have to approve. Uh, the embryo, making sure it doesn't have any disabilities, that's in quotes, and then that allows the genetic engineering. How did I know all this was coming? Because the plan has been on record for a very, very, very long time. So we're going to be uh, getting to all of that coming up. Uh, we're also going to continue breaking down the final border uh, control battle in the House of Representatives. Uh, Republicans are mocking the Senate bill. Uh, and U.S. workers, they're reporting, are being passed over for foreigners. Uh, we're going to be breaking all of that down. Uh, Christian Science Monitor says that it's cleared the Senate but faces roadblocks in the House. We're going to be uh, going over that as well. And this first broke uh, back on Monday, and we covered it on Tuesday. But we played a clip of it yesterday, and it reminded me of what I've seen go on in England and other places where they've taken the guns from the general public and how the violent crime increases to record levels, how the home invasions increase. And then you have places in the middle of Europe like Switzerland that has the lowest crime rate in the world because literally everyone is armed. There aren't carjackings. There aren't home invasions. There aren't muggings, except in a few housing project areas of a few of their biggest cities. And that's mainly foreigners who have no history of owning firearms and aren't Swiss citizens, so they don't have guns. You can look at the numbers. Uh, it is just such a fact. And then you see the video in New Jersey, in an area where it's almost impossible to own guns, of the woman being beaten and thrown down the stairs, and it goes on minute after minute, while her children, in catatonic fear, are paralyzed in learned helplessness on the couch. Little children. And that's what America is. America is that little child. And I'll be honest with you folks, I am the gun. You are the gun. As adults, you should take up the gun 
to protect yourself and your family so that a woman can defend herself against a man. It was the Ku Klux Klan that first in this nation got laws passed in the South to disarm black people so that groups of whites could gang up racially on black people and beat them and shoot them and kill them. Now that's called racist and that's wrong. But today, if you look at the crime statistics, in some areas it's 10 to 1, but it's usually 5 to 1, black on white crime. Just to Justice Department own numbers, you can look it up. They don't want to publicize them. In fact, in some areas it's even higher. That the media will not say or show the race when it is a black person attacking a white person because they, they, they want to continue to push racial division and have actually sold in many black communities that it's okay to attack white people because we're all bad and deserve it. And then that brings in the whole Trayvon Martin Zimmerman case of where the witnesses are saying that, sure, well, should he have been following down the street with a gun? That's probably not a good idea. But the fact is his nose was bloody. His head had lacerations on the back of it. He was reportedly on the ground having his head bounce like a basketball. The question we should ask in this video we're going to play coming up a little bit later while I talk about this is... Should that woman be on trial for being attacked, attacking that man's fist? Because she's white, and that's racist. And even worse, if she'd had a gun in her own house and shot him, would there be a new Tr Trayvon Martin case? That's a question. That's a question, and, and I'm not even being sarcastic here. Because in England, if you fight back against an attacker in your house, they throw the book at you. If an attacker falls through a skylight, they sue and win against you. If you're being raped and robbed and you stab someone in your own house, they throw the book at you. Because the great crime in a tyranny is defending yourself. Because the predatory government does not want the slaves to be armed. They want the monopoly of force and they want the pliant slave population to be like Jews in Nazi Germany and others to pliantly subserviently run into pits when the authority figure says so, holding their hats while they're shot. And then the next group bows, you know, curtsies almost, naked women with their newborn babies and, and toddlers on their hips. The photos and film reels are out there. Just type in women in pits with children being shot by Nazis. And I, and, and, and I have nightmares about that, folks, because I've watched those black and white films growing up on PBS and and I've gone and looked it up myself, and the Nazis themselves filmed it all over Eastern Europe, all over Russia, all over uh, areas they'd taken over. And then I see the footage of that woman not resisting, and I see her child on the couch groveling in fear, and I realize that's America, is learned helplessness. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm not going to sit here helplessly while the globalists assault us anymore. And I'm not going to sit here and just go down without a fight. And that laying down and having mass Stockholm syndrome, that's what it is, is what is bringing this country into so much tyranny. Now, it's the same from Australia to the United States, from Canada to England to France. When there's an emergency now, they don't just block off the streets when there's a flood or a fire. They come in and the police loot the houses, rob the Walmarts, rob the jewelry stores and rob the, uh, the, the gas stations and things. And you've seen it all over the world because we have a kleptocratic governments now that even the good cops, they'll just stand down and go home and the bad cops rule the day because the bureaucracy is not going to prosecute them because that would be a PR disaster. So the worst in any society or any office or any department, it's not just the police. I got to be honest, the police on average compared to a lot of the decadent sectors of the public in some areas have held it together better than the general population. This whole world is rotting, ladies and gentlemen. Is absolutely rotting. There's no doubt about that. All the numbers, the statistics are there. And now we have this article out of the Calgary Herald. Held to pay residents angry at RCMP sees guns from High River Homes. And we have a video we're going to go to after the break, uh, and then we're going to go to your phone calls. But... Again, we have this article up on InfoWars.com. We've got Kurt Nemo writing an article about it. 
And if you give me a document, Cam, I can show people the article. There it is. Hell to pay. Residents angry as RCMP seizes guns from high river homes. It's just like Nazi Germany. There's one of the articles. Uh, and then uh, here is another one of the headlines. RCMP revealed Thursday that officers have seized a substantial amount of firearms from homes in the evacuation town of High River. We just want to make sure that all of those things are in a spot that we control. It's not like there was looting or rioting and they went and got them. Simply because of what they are, said Sergeant Brian Topham. That news didn't sit well with a crowd of frustrated residents who planned to breach a police checkpoint northwest of the town as the evacuation order stretched into its eighth day. So they... Locked down uh, a, a, a area that uh, had some flooding for eight days. And you learn the police have just been digging through everybody's houses, violating Magna Carta. They have basically Fourth Amendment up there as well. But by practice and by precedent, po possessions nine tenths the law every time. I mean, they locked down half of or more of, of Boston, a town of 700,000 people, and went and pointed guns at everybody. And, and shot up cars in L.A. that didn't even look like the same description or same supposed race, uh, you know, during the Dorner hunt. It's, 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 they're acting differently. They're acting like mad gangs of control freaks who want to set the precedent during any emergency to come in your house and take your guns. And I'll guarantee you, loot it. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the RMCP, the Royal Police uh, in Canada, in the town of High River, have set up uh, around the town uh, checkpoints and aren't letting people into it because of some storm damage. Uh, and this is eight days in, the RCMP uh, revealed that officers have seized a substantial amount of firearms from homes in the evacuated town of High River. We just want to make sure that all of those things are in a spot that we control simply because of what they are, said Sergeant Brian Topham. The news didn't sit well with a crowd of frustrated residents who had planned to breach a police checkpoint northwest of the town as an evacuation order stretched into its eighth day. The RMCP revealed Thursday that officers had seized a substantial amount of firearms from the homes of the evacuated town of High River. And uh, it continues, um, about 30 RCMP officers set up a blockade at the checkpoint preventing 50 residents from walking into the town. Dozens more police cars, lights on, could be seen lining the streets of the town on standby. Officers laid down a spike belt to stop anyone from attempting to drive past the blockade. The action sent the uh, crowd of residents into a rage. What's next? Tear gas shouted one resident. This is like Nazi Germany. Just taking orders shouted uh, another. And uh, it just goes on there uh, to uh, break down what's happening. Let's go to Let's go to one of the uh, local news clips. Here it is. On Thursday, police revealed they have seized a significant number of firearms from evacuated homes. We have seized um, a large quantity of firearms simply because um, they were left by residents um, in, their, in their places and they are now secure at the detachment. That news didn't sit well with an already angry crowd. The confrontation, however, did end peacefully. And again, they've had some flooding there. That's what's going on. Uh, and uh, now they're eight days into this. And this is what government does now. 
The town's been dry for eight days. The people are kept out of the town. And uh, in most experiences, the police, I don't know if these guys will be involved in that. Probably most of them won't be. But in, in other cases around the world and here in the U.S., uh, they will go through everything. Most people will never get their guns back. And we saw this during Katrina in the high and dry areas. And we saw the police looting all over the place. Now, shifting gears to a video that's gotten a lot of attention. If you're a radio listener, you just search uh, New Jersey home invasion, mother beaten in front of child, and then you'll find the video. But most of you uh, have seen uh, the video of the mother uh, on the couch, and a man comes in and just beats her and beats her and beats her and throws her down the stairs and stomps on her, and it just goes on and on and on, all caught on a nanny cam while it looks like a three-year-old to four-year-old child sits there in a catatonic state sucking her thumb, which is normal for a child to do in many cases, uh, especially if they haven't been trained to fight back or resist or hide. Uh, that's basically what the child's doing is hiding in plain view. Uh, but as a public, we now have the public uh, doing things like this. And reportedly, if you look at George Zimmerman, who witnesses said was pummeled the nose and his head bashed into the ground, that he was assaulted, you know, the only question is, should this woman be arrested? Is, is, is this, is this uh, a white on black crime? I mean, I want to be politically correct here, okay? In fact, this woman could probably have been black, and they would just say she was white, like George Zimmerman, uh, you know, being uh, of uh, you know, mixed uh, heritage. And, and, and again, for me, ra racism is nothing but a puppet shill operation to keep us fighting with each other. But I just want to point out that you hardly ever see home invasion footage on the news, and you hardly ever hear them talk about Hispanic on white or uh, black on white crime. In fact, you don't hear about Hispanic on black crime. That's really a big issue. I just look at the statistics in Southern California because that doesn't fit into the race paradigm. The only people that can be racial and go out and prey on someone is a white person. The only people that can commit crimes are white people. The only people that cheat on their taxes are white people. The only people that don't wipe their hind ends properly are white people. The only people that... Um, Steal are white people. I, I want to confess to this, that I agree with MSNBC. I don't like socialist government-run health care and the government having all my health records and sharing them whatever they want. Not because I'm into liberty, because I'm a racist, folks. I want to keep my guns to be able to self-protect myself, but I'm going to make a confession. It's because I'm really racist. Like Michael Moore says, he says, racist white people want their guns. And, and then they go on and you know they've had Fox News and Fox Sports guys say, gun owners are the Klan. You've seen that. And, and, and I guess they're actually right. In fact, that woman and her child need to go to prison for racism. I'm being sarcastic, of course, ladies and gentlemen. That lady's a poor victim and our heart you know, goes out to her. Uh, it's just this stuff goes on and on and on. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.